trees Nothing but reality started <laughs> with me and Paul. Um, we met at a uh, European jazz project and yeah, we became friends really quickly. Jazz we brought us together and yeah. then we decided not to do jazz in this band. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that's uh, that's this band. Um, we, yeah, we played that project and then we, a couple years later, we were like, okay, we kind of want to work together we were talking about it for a long time and then i got this opportunity to basically start a new project uh through a local initiative and um i immediately called paul without even having an idea of what to do so uh, i was like i just want to work together with you um, and i said yes and then we got together in luxembourg in my basement once and uh yeah played various instruments uh, put it there and collected ideas and uh, quickly we came up with a bunch of songs six or seven i think in a few days and uh, that's where the band got born in a way yeah yeah so we recorded some demos um and uh, we're yeah we're really quite happy with them uh, but we weren't really sure where to go yet like live and stuff and then i think 
pretty quickly we realized that we really needed someone more on the production side and of course a uh, third band member who was also a multi-instrumentalist because we kind of recorded so many instruments um, playing, you know, making the demos that were like, yeah, how are we going to play this live now if someone only plays one instrument? So uh, yeah, there we both knew Angelo. I know Angelo from uh, a very long time ago and Paul knows him from uh, yeah, from my studies where, long. where yeah. I was the bass bitch in a guitar group. <laughs> so oh, yeah. 12 guitar players that fooling must around. must have been horrible and, uh, for you, yeah. but yeah. 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 And now this guy's the bass bitch. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, put that on my on my card. <laughs> yeah. So so we uh, you know we did we we started and we we did made the demos better and we uh, eventually recorded our first album together and that's kind of how uh, how it all came to be. Capture the moment staring into the abyss 
we basically found out uh, already in this jazz project that we were listening to kind of the same bands and I think a few of them back then was uh, Radiohead, obviously, in a way. Queens of the Stone Age, James Blake, Dirty Projectors. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And because we wanted to go away from jazz a little bit more, we really took this music that we've been listening to for like 15, 20 years or longer um, and kind of... You know that that came out of uh, out of us more naturally, and we really wanted to put this. I kind of listened to Caius before I knew how jazz was written in a way. So that's also a bit of a back to the roots. This project, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen the big hall at Rock Hall and we'll play there someday. Yeah, definitely. We we want to, you know, big halls is great. And, and I think it's mostly um, showing our music and, and connecting with more and more people 
um, is is what we really want. Uh, playing nice venues, playing as much as possible. You know, we're we're live musicians, and we want to play live. And we we love recording, we love writing, uh, but then we really really want to show that you know uh, in a live situation connect with people yes yeah, so the three point plan is the floor then the club and then the main hall so let's make it happen over the next 10 years i wanted to say see in two years you know like this oh. year floor next year come. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>